All right, so I replayed the the boss fight with Lamu. Um, at this point, I guess it doesn't make a difference. What you pick, whether you pick on prioritizing defeating Lamu or prioritizing saving her, I guess the deciding factor would be back at the school where um, where you have to make first make that decision on whether or not you want to kill her or not. So that's pretty much that. Young man, I have a question. Was my previous assessment inaccurate? Had I objected to Her Holiness accompanying us, she would still be alive. I was created to aid humanity. Instead, I led a very precious human to her death. Has your world truly come to this then? A dear friend's death is a single drop in a sea of loss. If that is the case, I shall devote all my strength to you so you may stave off your own death. Fixating on the past cannot change its course, no matter how one may desire it. Instead, we can only redouble our efforts to ensure their deaths were not in vain. Okay, so damn. It's basically like the decisions you make it at the very beginning are the ones that like that matter. Anything after that is just like it don't it don't matter. Let's check these demon hearts. See what uh Tokyo. Wayline. Let's go ahead and make this report. Good work, everyone. Let's go reporting. Yeah.
Well done on defeating Lamu. Your efforts have not been in vain. But her death is indeed tragic, and certainly a setback for Bethel. Humanity will mourn the loss of their saint. And then there's Itsukishima. Ah, uh, yes. The student whom Lamu targeted. Another regrettable tragedy. That reminds me. Right at the bitter end, Lamu mentioned something about recreating the world. Not only that, but he wanted to become a Nahobino. Do you have any idea what that means? Yes. Well, perhaps the time is right to inform you. Eons ago, the gods were gifted with both eternal life and the knowledge of good and evil. In those days, they were known as Nahobino. However, the creator ordered the forfeiture of Nahobino's knowledge. Thenceforth, they regressed into demons. Lamu is one such demon. It is likely he intended to reclaim his knowledge and assert power as a Nahobino once more. But what does any of that have to do with Itsukishima? Well, you see, the creator sealed the demon's knowledge within the Garden of Paradise, inside a forbidden tree. But then came a serpent who tempted the garden's inhabitants to eat of the tree's fruit and thus consume its knowledge. From then on, that knowledge was bound to the human soul and is still passed down throughout the generations, or so the tale is told. Thus, we can conclude Itsukishima had inherited such knowledge. Does this mean that the knowledge of all those lost gods is flowing through us too? It is very well possible. In any case, the demons of then and now yearn to reclaim what was lost, and so seek human souls. Yet the Why is that? Because those who bear knowledge, namely a Nahobino, pose a threat to God's established order. Specifically, they have the potential to recreate the world. So, if I have this right, Lamu attempted to retake his knowledge in order to destroy the current system? That is correct. Then if that's true, wouldn't that mean his existence as a Nahobino is also a threat to God's order? Hmm. I would like to explore that matter further with you. Alas, the day has grown late. We'll say this up, another time. Jackson? For now, return to your quarters and get some well-earned rest. Understood. We'll do just. Hey, uh, Atsuta? Uh, both of you. Down to meet me on the roof later. This guy wants to have an intervention. Or oh, he must have been a school roof. What's your opinion on the side characters? Um, two of them just died, so there's that. girl who we was trying to save from Lamu she ended up getting killed and then the other girl she ended up sacrificing herself to bring us back to life Persona has more plot on her <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here's, this is the exit. He said, meet him on the roof. So when he means the school roof. Said, oh, here he is. So I say, dude said, meet him on the roof. I was like, what the hell? On a dorm roof there. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's a way I could have saved both of them, both of those girls, but I had to go back to the school and make the decision to 
to save her. Yeah, so I don't really get all that knowledge or recreating the world stuff. All I care about is what we could have done different. To save Mitsukishima. You're the smart guy here. What do you think? We might have been able to step in had we known about her situation earlier. Ultimately, Lamu preyed on her fears and took advantage of her pain. At that point, she was too vulnerable to resist. The whole reason I had the demon summoning program was to prevent something like this. Yet in the end, I was powerless. That's not true. You're amazing, Atsuta. Tough as nails, too. You and your sis. I'm sorry. But look. Oh, wow. Even That's I know how much work it takes to walk the right path. Not to mention strength. That's why I want to be strong, like you. And if I can fight on your level, no one else will have to suffer like this again. So let's move forward. That way our friends can rest a little easier, knowing they've been avenged. You're right, Dazai. And you know what? You might be stronger than you think. So, what do you make of their conversation? Hard to say. I can always use more strength, hard to say. Well, we are Indeed. But don't forget, you have the protofiend of Bethel at your disposal. I will support you at all costs. Regardless of what goals you may have, I will see to it that they are fulfilled. This I swear. Good morning, everyone. We've just received word from Bethel's inner council. It falls to me to relay their message. You did us a great service in destroying Lamu. However, our superiors are taking the demonic incursion very seriously. To leave such audacity unpunished would only invite further demonic offense. They aim to hit the forces of chaos with everything they have. They want a full-on assault. More specifically, an attack driven by our finest agents from across Bethel's international reach. That said, as Bethel Japan, we are not assigned to this operation. What? Why not? The last operation took quite a toll on our forces. Enough that we now have to rely on, no offense meant, amateurs and juveniles. To put it bluntly, HQ has judged our remaining strength and found us wanting. It's true that we aren't the most powerful. But we should be on the front lines in the fight against chaos. Tokyo is our city, and it's our duty to protect it. Yeah, I... I think he's right. Frankly, so do I. Which is why our current plan is to join the operation, despite our orders, or lack thereof. Awesome! You and Dazai, your assignment is to cover the Tokyo Diet Building in the Netherworld. There's an underground passage nearby. Are well, you gonna say to Tokyo weak then? You will infiltrate by way of the actual and defeat the Demon King. Yes, sir. Yuzuru Atsuta, I have something HQ probably don't know. for you. Stay after the meeting and I'll explain. Uh, of course, sir. Yes, we're splitting up for this one. But let's give it all we've got. As of now, consider yourself deployed. Head to your mission. Demon King's armies. We are going to have to fuse some stronger demons. I'm surprised you had nothing to say when we received our current mission. I didn't get a choice in the manner. I see. Since you've been ordered to participate, you find personal views on the matter irrelevant. Perhaps organizations such as Bethel are nothing but shackles to humanity. Just know there's no need for you to ever hold back your thoughts from me. No matter how you may feel, you can always trust me. With that said, let us move on to our mission. I wonder what, what would have happened if I would have said I didn't want to do it. Oh, 
Aha. Welcome to the Miracles. Get away in defense. I need to get Divine Garrison 4 and 3. You wish to learn this. You wish to learn. Demon is registered in the compendium, reduces mocking, demanded, and negotiation, and forgives one negotiation failure. You wish to learn. I think I know where he at too. Where to? Yeah, it's these two. So we gotta get go and knock them out because them ought to be two and those ought to be three and four. Skipping the ass, yeah. I've been skipping them. I, I just been training. I got my levels up now. The abscesses ain't nothing. As soon as I saw them in Divine Garrison, I went back skills, yeah. I mean, I, well, I This is somewhere where I'm I can.
Force Mastery, Ice Mastery, Demonic Discipline. Alright, got that one. around the corner. I know there's nothing. There it is, it's up there. This one is still got one back in the, uh, in the netherworld. Four of them, and this is probably where the garrisons are.
Cabana Garrison. It'll be easier just to do this. I don't know why the hell I'm struggling. Tell me not one of these is the damn garrison. <sighs> no, I have got garrison one from them. I need Garrison 2 and 3.
guess I gotta go around for that. I might be a witch coming over there. A red line. Here go Divine Garrison 3. And the last one is the one I need. We gotta find a way to get up there though. I think we gotta take this back road. Play through going, yeah, it is. It is. Supposed to get up there. But there's a way to get around there. Man. I, I think you need to go up two ley lines. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, I seen it. I'm thinking there was a way I was supposed to go down and then climb up somewhere. I don't even know why.
should have been the last of them. That's the game itself. Okay, good. We got the divine garrisons. Now we can go back to the to the pillar. I want to focus on getting them. I think I got more, um, I farmed a ton of, like, what was those items that, that, that gave me, uh, glory? 31 glory. I still don't know what to do, do to make King Frost. I'll have to figure that out later though.
a force nullification? some more fusing and get force and all. But until then I think I'm a, I think I've done enough for the time being. 